be gathered. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May the Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty ever living God, who gave Saint Anthony of Padua to your people as an outstanding preacher and an intercessor in their need, grant that with his assistance, as we follow the teachings of the Christian life, we may know your help in every trial. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the first book of Kings. Naboth, the Jezreelite, had a vineyard in Jezreel, next to the palace of Ahab, king of Samaria. Ahab said to Naboth, Give me your vineyard to be my vegetable garden, since it is close by, next to my house. I will give you a better vineyard in exchange, or if you prefer, I will give you its value in money. Naboth answered him, The Lord forbid that I should give you my ancestral heritage. Ahab went home disturbed and angry at the answer Naboth the Jezreelite had made to him. I will not give you my ancestral heritage. Lying down on his bed, he turned away from food and would not eat. His wife Jezebel came to him and said to him, Why are you so angry that you will not eat? He answered her, Because I spoke to Naboth, the Jezreelite, and said to him, Sell me your vineyard, or you, if you prefer, I will give you a vineyard in exchange. But he refused to let me have his vineyard. His wife Jezebel said to him, A fine ruler over Israel you are indeed. Get up, eat, and be cheerful. I will obtain the vineyard of Naboth, the Jezreelite, for you. So she wrote letters in Ahab's name, and having sealed them with his seal, sent them to the elders and to the nobles who lived in the same city with Naboth. This is what she wrote in the letters. Proclaim a fast and set Naboth at the head of the people. Next, get two scoundrels to face him and accuse him of having cursed God and King. Then take him out and stone him to death. His fellow citizens, the elders and nobles who dwelt in his city, did as Jezebel had ordered them in writing through the letters she had sent them. They proclaimed the fast and placed Naboth at the head of the people. Two scoundrels came in and confronted him 
with the accusation. Naboth has cursed God and King. And they led him out of the city and stoned him to death. Then they sent the information to Jezebel that Naboth had been stoned to death. When Jezebel learned that Naboth had been stoned to death, she said to Ahab, Go on, take possession of the vineyard of Naboth, the Jezreelite, that he refused to sell you, because Naboth is not alive, but dead. On hearing that Naboth was dead, Ahab started off on his way down to the vineyard of Naboth, the Jezreelite, to take possession of it. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Lord, listen to my groaning. Lord, listen to my groaning. Hearken to my words, O Lord. Attend to my sighing. Heed my call for help, my King and my God. Lord, listen to, to my groaning. At dawn, I bring my flea, my plea expectantly before you. For you, O God, delight not in wickedness. No evil man remains with you. The arrogant may not stand in your sight. Lord, listen to my groaning. You hate all evildoers. You destroy all who speak falsehood. The bloodthirsty and the deceitful, the Lord abhors. Lord, listen to my groaning. Please stand. To my feet is your word, a light to my path. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, you have heard that it was said, an eye for an eye and a tooth for a tooth. But I say to you, offer no resistance to one who is evil. When someone strikes you on your right cheek, turn the other one to him as well. If anyone wants to go to law with you over your tunic, hand him your cloak as well. Should anyone press you into service for one mile, go with him for two miles. Give to the one who asks of you, and do not turn your back on one who wants to borrow. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Parang hirap po ng tinuturo ni Jesus sa atin. Sinampal ka na sa kanan mong pisngi. Bigay mo pa yung kaliwa. Pero ano pong tinuturo sa atin? Jesus is teaching us how to love. Paano umibig? Pwede bang Lord ikaw na lang? Ibigin kita. Magdadasal ako. Gagawin ko lahat ng gusto mo. Ialay ko ang buhay ko sa'yo, pero ikaw lang. Pero alam mo, when we love God, nang siya lang, we cannot attain perfection of charity. Bakit? Kasi when we love God, alam natin, that God already loved us first. And He has given everything for us first. At hindi ganun ang pag-ibig na gusto niyang matutunan natin. Bakit? 
Paano ba nagmahal ng Diyos? God loves those who are undeserving of His love. Kahit na hindi deserving yung tao, minahal niya. And what is the cost of that? Death. Kaya ang hirap magmahal ng taong hindi ka ibig-ibig sa ating paningin. Na hindi ka gusto-gusto sa ating paningin. But Jesus is teaching us to love unreservedly those who are undeserving. Kaya natin. Papaano? Tingnan nyo yung mag-asawa. Tingnan nyo po yung mga mag-asawa. Once in their life, they have committed mistake against the other. To the point na minsan, nasampal, hindi man physically, Pero minsan may nagawa silang sampal sa muka ng isang asawa. Pero, even though he is undeserving of such forgiveness, binigyan mo pa rin ng isa, dalawa, tatlo, o apat na pagkakataon. Baka magbago pa to. Baka maalala niya ulit na ako yung minahal niya. But you know, such action of betrayal, of sin against the other, ay isang sampal sa muka. Kaya nga ibinigay ng Diyos yung other, yung kapwa. Because we cannot love Him the way He loved us. Kapag tayo ay nagmamahal sa Diyos, it is because God loved us first. Kaya binigay niya ang ating kapwa, lalo na yung undeserving of our love. Yung mga tao na alam natin, they will not love us back. Kahit nga yung mga taong mahal natin, o yung alam natin na minamahal din tayo, Sometimes, they fail and forgotten to love us. Kaya nga ibinigay ang bawat isa sa atin. Because when you love the other person, you know that he is unworthy or she is unworthy of such love. Bakit? Masasaktan ka niyan. masasaktan ka niya in one way or another. E paano na lang yung mga taong may utang sa'yo? E paano na lang yung mga nakasakit talaga sa'yo? God is teaching us to love. And love is not just a feeling. Love is not just a feeling na mapapasaya ka o mapapasaya mo sila. O oh, may kilig? No. When we love, it is about willing the good of the other. Kung ano'y nakakabuti. Kahit na sa mga taong nakasakit sa'yo, pwede mo silang mahalin. Kahit na sa mga taong nakapagbigay ng pasakit sa iyo, pwede mo silang mahalin. Na minsang trinaydor ka, pwede mo silang mahalin. By willing the good of the other. Papaano? Pray for those who persecute you. Bless those who curse you. At gawin mo pa rin ang mabuti. Gawin mo pa rin ang tama. And because of that, we can love God unreservedly through those person who are undeserving of our love. Kaya ibinigay sa atin ng Diyos ang kapwa 
para mahalin natin ang Diyos sa pamamagitan ng ating kapwa. Because if we love God directly, that is not perfection of love. Why? Because God has loved us first. Kapag minahal mo lang yung taong unang nagmahal sa'yo, ginagawa din yan ng mga tax collectors, ng mga pare sa'yo. But if you love those who are unworthy of your love, and they don't love you back, that is what God has done for us. Kaya merong kapwa. Kaya pinapaanyaya lang sa atin, mahalin mo din yung mga taong hindi ka gusto-gusto. Nasa paningin pa lang, maiinis ka na. Na makita mo pa lang, maiirita ka na. Mahalin mo din sila. And if we have done that, we are doing what God has commanded us to do. To love one another and to love like Jesus. Please stand. Our loving Father has been very good to us. Let us pray that His merciful love may mark our attitude towards everyone. For every petition we shall answer, Father, perfect us in your love. Father, perfect us in your love, that us, God's people, we may be able to live out Christ's law of love. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, perfect us in your love. That we may forgive our enemies and those who may have hurt or wronged us in any way. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, perfect us in your love. That we may do away with division and selfishness and that we may overcome evil by goodness. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, perfect us in your love. That those who are hardened in sin may be touched by the Spirit of the Lord to repent and change their ways. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, perfect us in your love. That our beloved dead may be brought safely home to the company of Christ. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, perfect us in your love. Let us pray for our personal intentions, the intentions of this Mass. For all those whom we promise to pray, and the intentions of the devotees and pilgrims of Our Lady of the Holy Rosary of Manawag. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, perfect us in your love. Lord of all people. Amen. Please be seated. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Please stand. Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours 
may become acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Receive, O Lord, we pray, the offerings placed on your altar in commemoration of blessed Anthony of Padua, so that, as you brought him glory, you may, through these sacred mysteries, grant to us your pardon. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We we'll lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation. Always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord, for as on the festival of St. Anthony of Padua, you bid your church rejoice, so too you strengthen her by the example of his holy life, teach her by his words of preaching, and keep her safe in answer to his prayers. And so with the company of angels and saints, we sing the hymn of your praise as without end we acclaim. Indeed, holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness, make holy therefore these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks. He broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take these, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when suffer was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take these, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church, spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, Socrates, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep. In the hope of the resurrection 
and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, with Saint Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Please stand. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to pray. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity, in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you. May this mingling of the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ bring eternal life to us who receive it. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
Announcement. The Memory Help of Christian Seminary System is inviting all young men in high school, college, or young professionals to consider a vocation to be a priest for the service of the Archdiocese of Linga in Dagupan. A vocation to the priesthood is a special grace not given to all men. It is a great blessing for a family to be able to offer a son or brother to be a priest. Those who are interested to enter the seminary are invited to approach any of the priests in the parish who will gladly assist them in the seminary admission requirements. Let us beg the Lord to send more priests to his vineyard in Lingay and Dagupan. Let us now prepare to receive the final blessings. Thank you. Please stand. Let us pray. We humbly implore your majesty, almighty God, that just as the offering made in honor of blessed Anthony of Padua, bear witness to the glory of divine power so that so they may impart to us the effects of your salvation through Christ our Lord. Amen. Maraming salamat po sa inyong pakikisa sa banal na misa at patuloy po nating mahalin ang isa't isa kahit minsan mahirap. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may the blessing of the Almighty God, the Father, the Son, and of the Holy Spirit come down on you and remain with you forever. Amen. Our celebration is ended. Go in peace. Thanks be to God. Prayer for the blessing of the sick. God, our Almighty Father, by your blessing, you give us strength and support in our frailty. Turn with kindness toward our sick brothers and sisters, free them from all illness, and restore them to good health through the intercession of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, so that, in the sure knowledge of your goodness, they will gratefully bless your holy name. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Prayer for the blessing of rosaries and other religious articles. In memory of the mysteries of the life, death, and resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ, and to the honor and glory of the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of Christ, Mother of the Church, Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, May these rosaries, candles, oils, and images, and other religious articles be blessed and be made holy. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.
Jesus. Amen.